So today we'll be talking about DNA cycle sequencing. And so this is important because it can help us to analyze um, different DNA from different species. So we can be able to compare the two. And it's also um, helpful because um, researchers only have to use a small amount of DNA with little to no purification. So first, you're going to have a tube. And in this tube, you're going to have your template DNA, which is the DNA you want to sequence, um, short DNA primers that um, are complementary to that DNA sequence that you want to sequence, and DNA polymerase enzyme. These are just, there's multiple of them. And then you'll have these things called your dideoxynucleotides. So you have four different types of them. So here's one, here's another, here's one, and here's another. So these four different dideoxynucleotides are D, D, A, T, P, D, D, C, T, P, D, D, G, T, P, and D, D, TTP. So these are all mixed, and then you'll run a PCR, and so the first step of a PCR is denaturation, so you'll have your double-stranded DNA, and it'll separate into two single strands. So once you have these single strands, then your um, it does denaturation by applying heat, and then you go on to the annealing step where your temperature lowers. Here's your single strands and your primers add on to the ends of them. Then your heat rises again. And here are your primers. And then your DNA polymerase comes in. Your DNA polymerase enzymes come in. They extend it and add on nucleotides A, T, G, and C. And so while running this PCR, since you have your dideoxynucleotides mixed in, the dideoxynucleotides each represent a different color that represents nucleotide. So this could be red, this could be blue, this could be yellow, this could be black. So your dideoxynucleotides are going to come in and they're going to attach while nucleotides are being added. And it's going to stop. It's going to stop the reaction from adding any more nucleotides. And then at the end of it, it's going to represent that color, which is going to rep represent that nucleotide. So here, once your PCR is finished, you'll have all your all your different. Now you have all different because um, these dideoxynucleotides they stop they stop them at different points. Um, so they're all going to be different fragments. So you have all these different fragments in here, everywhere. And so what you're going to do is you take it for DNA sequencing. And um, it's going to go through a gel. Well, let's say a gel. And you're going to have these wells. And you're going to add in solution to the gel. And the bottom is positive and the top is negative. And since DNA is negatively charged, your shorter fragments, since they're lighter, are going to go to the bottom. So these are the shorter ones. And then you have your bigger ones towards the top. And so um, all these different sizes, they're going to have... They're, they, they're, all these different sizes were stopped by... Um, different a different dideoxynucleotide so they're each going to be like a different color so then it's going to go through as it goes through there's going to be a little laser laser at the bottom and it reads these and um, the laser reads the individual fragments as they pass and then it's automated in a computer and um the order in the computer corresponds to the template DNA sequence. 
So if if the fragment was started was like yellow, blue, red, black, then it'd be yellow, blue, red, black. And just to show you, here you have you have T T T. So here's all your T T T. You have your A A C C. G, G, C, G, G, and the color corresponds to the peak. And so that's how you figure out your DNA sequence as it shows and it goes through the computer. And you can figure out uh, which nucleotides after which so you can um, analyze each sequence specifically. And here are my citations.